First, though, we're going to talk about what's trending at 10A. Succession. Anyone who has loved a Roo or um, feels like they are a Roo, I want you to know that I'm so grateful for your stories. Ted Lasso. So it was a big night for the stars of the small screen. The HBO hit Succession, taking the top drama prize at last night's Emmy Awards. Ted Lasso won Best Comedy, and Zendaya made history with Euphoria. So for details and some red carpet glam, extra correspondent Rachel Lindsay joins us now live. It's good to see you, Rachel. Great night, right? Oh, it was a fantastic night. Thank you so much for having me. Great to see you, too. All right. Well, we're going to start uh, with your gorgeous self. Uh, tell us about your red carpet look here. Thank you so much. You know, I always have to step it up because I know that it is TV's biggest night. Um, I was wearing a green emerald dress, of course, with the high split, the plunging neckline, the cutouts, which were all on trend. It's by Tariq Adiz. And um, yeah, I wore the slick back hair. Um, it was very, very hot. I, that's an understatement. It was yeah, hot. You're on the right. Red. You were very, very hot, girl. Look at you. <laughs> Yeah, thank you so much. <laughs> I mean, that dress only works because you can actually pull it off, which you did oh. uh, in every way, shape, or form. But let's talk about some of your interviews. You got a good one with Issa Rae. Yes, yes. I love talking to Issa Rae. I mean, she's so iconic in everything that she does, and she's always giving us such meaningful and impactful content. We know that she was nominated for Insecure. It was the final season. We just saw that play out. Um, she's been nominated... I think pretty much every single year. Um, unfortunately, she didn't win, but she talked about it being just a full circle moment to be nominated, and she talked about the work that she's done with the show. Well, let, let's take a listen to what Issa had to say. We got to talk about rap. Yes. When I first talked to you, I had only seen one episode. I have seen eight at this point. Yes. It is so good. You just keep putting such incredible work out there. Can you talk a little bit about that and then some of your other upcoming projects and, you know, what they mean to you and why you do them? Thank you so much. Yeah, we just got a season two, which I'm super excited. I didn't even know breaking news to me. Uh, yeah, season <laughs> two know. is coming and we're really, Serena and I are so excited. Like, we've been talking about it like what we want to do in season two, how we want to go harder, we want to go bigger. We have such an amazing cast and we just want to be able to use them. And I'm really happy that people are responding to the show. Like yeah. the number of people who got secondhand embarrassment from Shauna's impromptu rap on stage, <laughs> like it struck me. So I'm just excited to be able to tell stories that feel true to people yeah. and we'll continue to. I think Issa looked pretty amazing as well in, in, in her dress. But um, if I think I had to pick one glamour girl from the evening, for me, it would have been uh, Zendaya. She not only looked gorgeous, but she made history. Zendaya made history. And yes, you are right. She looked fabulous. We were waiting. We said, what is Zendaya going to wear on the carpet? She was dressed in Valentino. Very kind of old Hollywood glam princess-esque look but um she looked fabulous and yes she made history it's the second win or her second win for outstanding lead actress in a drama series for euphoria of course and with that win she becomes the youngest two-time winner for acting in emmy's history and then also the first black woman to win the emmy for lead actress in a drama series twice uh, we speculated that she may win, and of course she did. She had a very impactful uh, speech as well. And we know that the character Rue means so much to her in a Euphoria, and we can't wait for another season to drop, hopefully very soon. <laughs> well, I, I, that was a big celebration last night, but she also just celebrated her birthday, and you caught up with her, talked a little bit about that. Let's see what she had to say. This is a great belated birthday present, yeah, right? Not bad, nice right? Hardware. Yeah. How was your birthday? What'd you do? I didn't do anything. I literally Good for just, you. I stayed inside with with my family, my friends, and I literally it just chilled all yeah. day. I didn't do anything because you know I feel like I'm always doing something. Like oh, my life you're is so busy. It's like do things. And I was it's like, your day to do whatever you want. What do you want to do? And I said nothing. Absolutely. Well, that's what I did. And it was but you, great. But you did hit up Beyonce's party. You know, live <laughs> vicariously through you for a second. <laughs> what, who partied the hardest? What happened? Uh, I am not, you know, I'm not a partier really, but, you know, I just like to pop in and then I pop out yeah. and, you know, look cute every now and then. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just, uh, it's, this is a very special night. I'm grateful to be here. Special indeed. Also a special night for Abbott Elementary. This might be the show that's going to have the most new viewers coming to it, I think. <laughs> 
I think so. You know, we we were able to catch up with Shirley Ralph on the carpet. Obviously, it was a big night for her. It was also a big night um, for Quinta as well. A lot of people on social media talking about her acceptance speech and how she had to walk over Jimmy Kimmel, who was totally committed to the bit. Uh, we know that she won for um, a Best Writing in a Comedy Series. And her speech, of course, was meaningful as well. And she was asked about it after the show of that response or, or Jimmy Kimmel committed to that. And <laughs> I mean, for, people that, for the people that missed it, uh, kind of explain the controversy here with Jimmy Kimmel. Sure, sure. So uh, Jimmy Kimmel and Will Arnett were, were doing a bit before and Jimmy Kimmel was playing dead on the stage. And so uh, Quinta had to go up and accept her speech, she had to walk over him. She totally played with it. She made a joke with him as well. And then she focused on her speech. I mean, this is obviously a big night for her. For her. It's a historic night for her, also for Abbott Elementary, which we know she created. She stars in as well. And then afterwards, people asked her what she thought about it because social media was just on fire and thought it's a little disrespectful what Jimmy Kimmel did, but she didn't think so. She said she was excited that he was the one presenting her the award. She wanted to, you know, just enjoy the night and this win. And she said she's going to be on his show this week. And if she needs to, she'll talk to him about it then. <laughs> yeah, I heard her. Yeah, she said she's going to be on Wednesday. And, if she, you know, if she has to punch him in the face, she'll do it. That's what she said. But you're yeah. right. She also <laughs> said Jimmy was one of the first to give her her start. So she was grateful for him. Uh, yeah. All right. Well, thank you again. It's always great to see you. Glad you had such a good time. Same. Thank you so much for having me. We'll have to do it again. Absolutely. Next awards, you and me catch back up. And just a reminder, you can catch extra weeknights at midnight on Fox 5 or weekdays at 2 in the afternoon on Fox 5 Plus.